to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position L on the white scale. Now move the second stop to position X on the white scale. Collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. For hip flexion slash extension we will need the knee stroke hip pad and the knee hip adapter. These are often left attached to one another. The position of the chair is not vital for this test. As long as it does not impede the motion. The chair can be used to hold on to for stabilization if required. In these circumstances adjust the chair to allow the subject to hold it. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. Rotate the chair to 0 degrees on the black scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. Adjust the chair foreaft to position 25. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. Adjust the chair back angle to 0 degrees. If using the chair for stabilization position to 90 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. Adjust the tilt angle to 0 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. Rotate the dynamometer to 0 degrees. Whilst also adjusting the height to 9. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail by pressing the kickboard and sliding the chair to position 75. The dynamometer is normally positioned, so the subject stands on the base plate. However, it can be rotated for taller subjects, so they stand on the floor. Now install the knee hip adapter. To use the knee hip adapter place the adapter into the long end of the input arm. Pull the locking pin to allow the adapter to fully enter the arm. Tighten the locking handle to secure. The position of the knee hip adapter can be read off the lower edge of the input arm, as can be seen here. To attach the knee hip pad to the knee hip adapter, press the retaining button on the knee hip adapter, then slide the pad into position. Ask the subject to stand next to the dynamometer. Now the axis of rotation needs to be set. The axis for the joint needs to be directly opposite the black dot on the input arm. The axis of rotation for the hip is superior and medial to the greater trochanter. The dynamometer height and subject position may need adjustments to achieve the alignment. Attach the knee hip pad just above the knee. Adjust for length, if required, by loosening the knee hip adapter. Ensure the strap is firmly affixed. If the knee hip pad moves up and down the leg, the axis of rotation is wrong and needs to be reset.